invention of the wheel, man used animals as a means of transport to move both goods as well as people. Bullocks and horses were used by early man mainly to move goods. Even today, bullocks, donkeys, horses, camels, elephants and mules are used as a means of transport. Bullock carts are still used in the villages of India. Not all roads in the villages are paved, hence these become unfit for four-wheelers. We see horse-drawn carriages and tongas in towns and even in cities. In England, royalty still moves around in horse-drawn carriages on special occasions. In the deserts, camels are the main mode of transport, both for people as well as goods. Our Indian army still uses camels. Reindeers and husky dogs are used to draw sledges in the very cold polar regions. In 1909, American explorer Robert E. Peary led an expedition to the North Pole using a team of dogs, mules, donkeys and elephants are used for carrying heavy loads. Elephants are still used by timber merchants to transport heavy logs of wood from the forests. In ancient days, elephants were used by Indian Rajas to hunt tigers and cheetahs. Nowadays, elephants are used to track tigers and leopards in dense, thick forests. Elephants were also used in the battlefield. But they were very slow moving as compared to the horses. In the mountains, yaks carry loads. Mountaineers, especially those climbing Mount Everest, use yaks to transport all their goods up to their base camp. Before the invention of tanks and jeeps, elephants, horses and camels were used in the battlefields. Group of soldiers who fought on horseback were called cavalry. Famous soldiers' horses also became household names. Maharana Pratap's horse Chetak's name is as famous as the Maharana himself. There is a statue of Chetak in Udaipur.